What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Apple TV Plus new series, Little Voice. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Apple TV Plus for granting me the screener to the entire nine episodes of this new show. This review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Little Voice kind of reminds me of John Carney's movies like Once or Begin Again. So it's not a musical per se, but it has song accompaniments that are there to highlight the artist's personal journey. Little Voice is romantic, it's heartwarming, and there's also something very honest about it. And this show also has a drama that packs a punch. The lead star, Brittany O'Grady, gives an incredibly fierce Diamond in the Rough performance. If you hadn't noticed her in her previous gigs, you'll definitely notice her now. And Sarah Bareilles' marvelous songs will completely disarm you. From Emmy Award winning producer J.J. Abrams and Grammy Emmy Tony Award nominee Sarah Bareilles and Jesse Nelson, Little Voice is a coming-of-age drama series featuring original songs from Sarah Bareilles. This show is a love letter to the diverse musicality of New York that centers around the lead character, Bess King, played by Brittany O'Grady, a uniquely talented performer struggling to fulfill her dreams while navigating rejection, love, and family issues. Co-starring Sean Teal, Colton Ryan, Shalini Bathina, Kevin Valdez, Philip Johnson Richardson, and Chuck Cooper. One of the things that audiences will appreciate about Little Voice especially if you live in New York City or if you have visited New York City as much as I do, is that this show really does justice to aspiring artists there by capturing what it's like for them trying to hit that big break, trying to get recognized, kind of like how people come to Hollywood trying their luck, suffering through one audition to the next, and they work as waiters during the day, or as bouncers at night. Well, people come to New York City thinking that they're gonna be the next Broadway star or the next big recording artist. So on this show, the character Bess King has to dog sit, has to bartend, and of course she has roommate because nobody could afford living in New York City unless they have other people living with them. So this show fully encapsulates the whole artist struggle experience down pat. I mentioned earlier that the drama packs a punch, and here's what I mean by that. There is a love triangle situation at the center of it, but in addition to that, Bess's life becomes more and more complicated, not only because of her passion, but also her dysfunctional family, her friends, her stress, her insecurity. Halfway through, you kind of feel sorry for her and partly understand why anybody in her position would want to consider having a mental breakdown. So the drama can be overwhelming, not only for Bess, but also for us, the audiences, as we're watching it unfold. But all of that is done to amplify the strength of Bess's spirit, and actress Brittany O'Grady takes that on like a champ. You will go through a wide range of emotions watching this show, and that is a good thing, while at the same time being serenaded by the calming, life-affirming music of the genius Sarah Bareilles. Finding the courage to use your authentic voice and surrounding yourself with people who believe in you. If those are not sufficient themes to check out Little Voice, then I don't know what is. 